Call the March 20th, 2023 Westlake City Council meeting in order. Mr. Brown's going to do the Pledge of Allegiance and I'm going to follow the invitation. Please stand. Pledge your right hand, your heart. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please bow your head. Heavenly Father, thank you for the grace you pour out upon us. We just ask a special blessing over this meeting tonight. Give us wisdom, discernment. Let us do what's best for the city of Westbury. God bless this state and this country. Keep us safe and guide our families. We ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Roll call. Ms. Peterson? Here. Mr. Pryor? Here. Mr. Rougeau? Here. Mr. Harrison? Here. Mr. Brown? Here. Absolutely, we do have a quorum. Public comments and minutes for each one. We're going to recognize some folks in the audience. First off, I want to start out with a proclamation. It's uh, the great week, March 5th through the 11th. Item A is proclamation for uh, School Social Worker Week. For School Social Worker Week. I'm going to read this proclamation right here, and then we're going to get the ladies up and uh, let them say a few words and congratulate them. With that being said, as I beat myself looking for thoughts, here they are. Glasses. I, can't print, I can't print that one there. Let me see. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Glasses of Moon. The Office of Mayor of the City of Westlake is a proclamation School Social Worker Week, whereas school social workers in the state of Louisiana and across the nation serve vital as vital members for the educational team play a role central to creating positive school climate and vital partnerships between home, school, and community to ensure success in academics. Whereas the school social worker improved the fabric of the school system by caring for those who have been left behind and for those who have lost their voice. Whereas school social workers are skilled in providing services to students who face serious challenges to be successful in school, including poverty, discrimination, abuse, addiction, bullying, divorce of parents, loss of loved ones, and barriers in learning. Whereas, there is a growing need for school districts and educational agencies to enhance the services provided by school social workers to address students' emotional, physical, and environmental needs so the students may achieve academic success and whereas school social workers strive to change the system and customs that limit the abilities of vulnerable individuals and groups to lead fulfilling and productive lives whereas school social worker week is a way to show support to the school social worker professionals which upholds the theme beacon of hope 
Now, therefore, let it be resolved and proclaimed, I, Hal McMillan, Mayor of Westlake, hereby do proclaim March 5th through March 11th, 2023, as Social Worker Week. So let's give them a big hand. I'm going to ask them to come up for me. Chairman of the social workers in this area. We're going to let her say a few words and we're going to take the picture. Ms. Lottie, go ahead. First of all, I'd like to thank you, Mayor, for allowing us to uh, represent social workers in Capital Parish. Uh, it was last week, but it is National Social Workers Month, the month of March. And so we would like to say thank you for allowing us to take care of your children, your grandchildren, nieces, and nephews in your school districts. We provide a wide array of services to care for your children <clears throat> in the school districts. And so we would just like to say thank you. It is a great honor to be recognized by the city of Westlake. Thank you. Don't give a kiss for anything. Don't say anything or take the picture. All right, let's stay up here, ladies, and then they go get behind us. And I'm going to give you all this. So y'all stand next to me, look at this one. There we go. Get all this lined out. How's that look? That looks good. All right, all three. One, two, three. And switch. Switch. Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all for what you do. God bless. Thank you. Stay right there, Council. We'll just grab us and read it from here. Thank you. Thank you. Grab that mic. Stay right here, guys. Mic. I have another proclamation today. This is kind of a neat deal. Anytime you get to recognize our kids of, of Westlake, and, uh, a fine family that's been here for a long time, this, pro uh, this proclamation uh, under the authority vested in me, Sovereign Nation Louisiana, in my official capacity as mayor of the city of Westlake, I do hereby proclaim today, March 20th, 2023, is Whalen Padaway Day. He's uh, signed a scholarship with Missouri Valley College and uh, we're just uh, here, happy to recognize him on behalf of, uh, on behalf of Westlake. I'm gonna call Jaqueline up, come on up. And I'm also, Jaqueline has made all district in basketball. So he's quite happy. We look forward to his, uh, his career at Missouri Valley. You wanna say a few words? Well, we'll <laughs> <laughs> I'll take this one, just you, Mayor. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just so we don't duplicate the same thing. All right. Okay. Thank you. We'll say a few words. Come on, baby. Tell us about what it's like to play uh, high school football and head to college. <laughs> um, you don't need the mic. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for this opportunity. You know, I had a good four years at Westlake High. You know, I enjoyed every moment of it under Coach Richardson. You know, you know it's sad that it's up, but you know now we're on to bigger and better things. So I just really appreciate for the time that I had in Wesley. Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. See on the agenda under item three, we're going to recognize the Westlake High School girls basketball team, but they're not going to be able to come till the April meeting. But I do have some friends in the audience with the Cadian Ambulance that's going to take their place here just for a second. They have some EMT classes starting up. They're trying to invest in Southwest Louisiana, and uh, I'm going to call up Billy Vincent, 
Billy, come up to the microphone here a minute and uh, address our council and the, and the people that are here tonight and tell us what y'all are looking at doing with Acadian Analytics to help out uh, to get EMTs in our area. Yes, thank you so much, Mayor. I appreciate the time that y'all have set for us here today. Um, we do have a class that's going to be coming up, and it's a grant class where there be no out-of-pocket cost to the individual that would like to take this class. It comes with a two-year agreement to work for us after that, but it's uh, basically a $23 to $2,800 class that's going to be free to the individual to take the class. We're doing that now for this class that starts in April, and the enrollment is available through the flyer that y'all should get a copy of with the QR code on it or they can go to becomeamedic.com and sign up there. Also, we're looking to duplicate this again in the summertime so that the kids that are getting out of school can have the same opportunity that we're offering now. Um, it is the best place to start a healthcare career is any EMS. You start learning all the basics and work your way up. We have many people that have gone on to become nurses, nurse practitioners, PAs, physicians, um, all by starting off their career on an ambulance as an EMT. And you can branch out not just to be in medicine, but this career leads to many other paths as well. There are people that go on from the EMT to go into the petrochemical industry in safety. Um, that have gone on to go to other divisions of art, the air division, to work on aircraft as well. It's a great opportunity to get a great foundation in healthcare underneath you and to diversify your education if you're looking to move into the petrochemical industry as well. Thank y'all so much for your time. And if y'all have any questions, please let me know. If you have a question that comes up later, don't hesitate to reach out. I'll make sure to leave my phone number and email address so y'all can get with me afterwards. Thank you. Any questions for the council? We all have a flyer here. I think you may have some flowers if anybody in the audience wants one. And we'll also be on our social media. Thank you so much. Thank you. Greatly really appreciate you. Appreciate it. Item number eight, consent calendar approval of the minutes taken from the regular meeting held on February 27th. I need a motion. I got a motion by Mr. Brown and a second. Approved. By Mr. Harris to approve. Any discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, that carries. Discussion item. Item eight. I need a motion and a second to approve or disapprove adopting ordinance. Number 1018 to order us for the purpose of soliciting online bids through <coughs> govdeals.com to dispose, dispose of obsolete and unnecessary uh, properties and equipment belonging to the city of Westlake. I have a motion by Ms. Peterson, a second, second by Mr. Rujo. Any discussion on that item? Any objection to that item? Hearing none, that motion is carried. Out of B, need a motion and second to approve or disapprove the ordinance. This ordinance <coughs> authorizing Hal McMillan, Mayor of the City of Westlake, to accept <coughs> cash deed transferring certain property within the corporation of city limits of Westlake uh, for consideration of $1,000 providing for advertising, same providing for objection to proposed sale of properties adjacent to Lot 31 of Augusta Village. I have a motion by Mr. Brown, and he's second. Mr. Brown. To approve, Mr. Carr on second. Any discussion on this item? Motion second, no discussion. Hearing none, motion carried. Mm -hmm. uh, item C, need a motion and a second to approve or disapprove resolution 3645. Resolution authorizing how I know the mayor of the city of Westlake to execute warning signs and school signs, flashing beacon permit certificate with the Louisiana Department of Transportation and Development in front of Westwood Elementary School. I got a motion by Mr. Harrison on a second by Mr. Lose your honor discussion. Do I have any discussion on this? Mr. Brown. Didn't we have a, a, a flashing light out there, right there by O'Reilly's, right there before you get to the school? Didn't we have one? Yes, we had the one that was up in the air, right. but they're going to go with one that sits on the side of the road. Yeah, it's going to be a little different. That's why we're having to get this approval on that, from what I understand. Hang on just a second. Is that correct? Correct. And it's solar powered instead of. This would be solar and solar. Ms. Peters? And a, a railroad would be positioned. Traffic coming from the south? Or both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Both sides. Yeah, okay. be both sides. Okay. Uh, just be a better indication of the school zone okay. when we come through. Okay. Any other discussion? Any objection? Hearing none, I'll see carries. Adam D. A motion second to approve or disapprove appointing zoning board and various board members. Zoning board members, Mr. James Cormier. Ms. Della Huffpower, Pat Ellender, 
Angie McBride, Sierra George, and Trey Dixon. Various board members, Melda Lewis, Wesley Jones, Rhonda Cupid, Chase White, and Mickey Conrad. I've got a motion by Mr. Cryer, a second by Ms. Peterson. Is there any discussion on any of this? Motion and a second. Hearing no discussion. Any objection? This motion carries. By the way, just as a keep James in your in prayers. He's uh, at MD Anderson. He's having some cancer issues. So James Cormier, uh, please keep him in your prayers and thoughts. Hopefully everything come back together. Out of me, I need a motion and a second to approve this approved resolution 3647. Resolution authorizing Howling Old Mayor City of Westlake to enter into a corporate endeavor agreement with Calcasieu Parish for the Summer Food Service Program and execute any and all documents there with it. I have a motion by Mr. Rougeau and a second by Mr. Harrison. Any discussion on this item? Any objection? Hearing none, that item carries. Here are the updates. Uh, Barry is in out of town, so clubhouse update. Uh, we have a couple other reminders on that. This is the time of the year that we're starting to cut our grass and everything, so please don't blow the grass clippings into the storm drains. And also the trash cans need to be picked up within a 24 hour period. We get our monthly reports. Uh, on the monthly re reports, I don't see our chief of police here, so. Anyone here from America? <coughs> All right, so we're going to stretch to do that. <coughs> Fire department's here. Chief Duff, come to Mike. Yep. That's good. That's be easy with the mic, you know. <laughs> Don't want to have the competition? Come on. Oh, <laughs> well, okay, so uh, so tonight, just to just kind of follow through on something that, uh, that I've talked about in previous meetings, uh, I brought two of our guys. Uh, and I'm going to ask them to come up. That's uh, Captain Michael Sears and Lieutenant Daniel Brown. Uh, these two gentlemen are the guys that uh, uh, that has just completed the advanced EMT class. And as I told y'all before, uh, that's going to that's going to bring uh, you know even better services uh, in the EMS uh, for the city of Westlake. Uh, it's funny that we've got uh, Acadian here tonight because you know they are who we work with. And as I told y'all before. Uh, they they resupply us on all of our equipment when we use it, so it's a pretty good partnership. Uh, I'd like to get the mayor to come over and uh, and, and give these gentlemen their packages. And... <clears throat> that way they can. <laughs> so so the, the the funny story with this is uh, unless you are an advanced EMT, you cannot purchase an advanced EMT pass. So even you know the fire chief, the mayor, uh, an EMT or a paramedic, uh, these guys pass them when they pass through. Like, hey, can, uh, can we get y'all to buy a patch so we can start putting them on your arms? But uh, this is what they are, Mr. Mayor. Well, what I'd like to say a few things: we have these advanced EMTs in our fire department until a Canadian ambulance can get there. They can start doing what they need to do to save lives, and. That's what I'm thrilled about in our hometown, our fire department, our police department, our public works, we've got good workers throughout. But when you get these patches, this means a whole lot to our department. And we appreciate them putting in the extra effort and time to go and, and get these EMT uh, certifications, advanced EMT certifications. With that being said, congratulations guys. Thank you so much for your service. Uh, and wear these patches with pride. Only fire department in Southwest Louisiana that would have an average. Oh, I don't want to steal the show, you know? What? No, I want you to I know, I, I love the step. <laughs> I want a copy of this picture right okay, here. Okay, all right. All three, one, two, three. Thank you. Which one's the last two? Mike, Mike, Mike Sears. Oh. Jamie Brown. Oh. This, is the, this is the one time I'll be able to tell my wife. Whenever I look at the guys, I feel like I'm eye to eye. I think that we really are. So. Congratulations, uh, guys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Other, other than that, you know, we've, we've got our regular stuff that we're working on. We've got guys spread all across uh, the country right now doing training. 
uh, and, and we're going to keep that up. We, you know, we literally got so much stuff going on right now that there's there's things that we're turning down just to keep guys enough guys home to, to run calls. Um, we, one of the things that we've got coming up is uh, next month on April the fourth uh, is our monthly training, and during that monthly training, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're bringing in uh, Chief Michael Cook. Uh, that name may ring a bell to some of y'all. He's a uh, he was the very first fire chief of Moss Bluff uh, some years back. Uh, before that, he was a, a combat uh, firefighter in Vietnam. Uh, he's a retired chief of uh, Fort Pope. Uh, so he's a, he's a pretty big name in, in our world. We're bringing him in to, to do a class uh, for us. But before that, we've gotten with uh, Mr. Richard uh, with the Armed Forces Committee, uh, and he helps us uh, with the flags. As many of y'all know, we, we maintain the cities and the you know the city's flags so we go around and we check them and if there's there's one that needs to be fixed or replaced we replace them and we take them all back to the fire station and we just hang on to them because we like stacking boxes and stuff all over the place <laughs> mr richard comes every so often is it the fourth or the fifth uh the four, it's a tuesday is that the fourth be probably the, fifth. It's the, fourth. the fourth okay yeah tuesday the fourth so before uh before our training uh we're actually going to have Mr. Richard uh, come and do a, um, a flag retirement ceremony. Um, you know, that involves the playing of taps and the, the proper uh, disposal of the flags. So if anybody in the community would like to come out and, you know, watch that, uh, just kind of watch our Facebook page. Uh, we'll, we'll try to get it uh, maybe on the city's website and uh, let you know it's either, either going to be at uh, the Veterans Hall, what, what's it called, Veterans? Freedom Hall. Freedom Hall the fire station, or Mr. Richard said possibly, where'd you say, Mr. Richard? Possibly the venue, where we're gonna go. Well, right now, we're just looking for it. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, <laughs> we won't, won't. participate in this. Most people have never retired a flag properly. You don't just burn flags, there's a proper way to do it. And, and we do it by burning. And I want you to participate, you, you retired. Yeah, Mr. Richard's big on the showing the kids. So if you have yeah. kids, you want to bring them out and show them something interesting, you know, that's that's why we're doing it. You know, we're doing it so that all the guys in the fire department have seen that. We got a lot of young guys that probably haven't. So um, we're going to be doing that. Uh, so that's that's just kind of a short of what the fire department's doing. Thank you, Chief. Mayor, oh, Mayor, can I ask something? Oh, what? Oh, Wesley. Yes, go ahead. I have to verify the chief of police. I had April 5th, and by the time I hung up my phone, they were at my phone door. Thank so you. They're good. Thank you. That's awesome. Mr. Billy may have had something to say. All right. I just wanted to tell you, y'all's fire department's great. I don't know if y'all know about the Narcan thing, but they adopted it very early. Made a huge difference to the citizens. In fact, there's one or two stories that are told in each of the classes we teach across the region. They adopted it wholeheartedly and made a massive difference to your citizens in this city. So congratulations to the chief and his department on embracing that and taking it as far as they've taken it. Let's give a hand on that. Good All right, our acting director of public works, David Horst, is going to come up for the report. All right, so y'all have a uh, report in front of y'all. My stuff's not as fun, so uh, <laughs> as a fire department, he always gets everybody because his stuff's fun. Uh, but we got a, we did uh, 178 work orders were submitted, were completed. Uh, 146 gas deposits, 24 disconnects on gas. We uh, had a usage of water of three, 33,604,068 gallons, 101 deposits, and 24 disconnects. So that concludes my report. Any questions? Thank you for this report. Thank you, Mr. Horton. Thank you. Uh, that'll make it more fun. Call up Jerry Pocket, Director of Golf. This, uh, this last month, uh, the new rec programs have been approved. Uh, some of the changes this year, unlimited range balls for anybody with a rec card all day, seven days a week. So that's a big addition. In addition to that, uh, we've renewed the men's and women's uh, 
golf programs with, for the men's we added now they can play uh, twice a week instead of once from Monday through Thursday. So that's another good addition for them. Uh, we have the junior camps that we traditionally had. They'll start in June, we'll have three of them. Uh, we all, we've added a rec summer league for the series junior golfers. Um, we continue to have individual lessons for women and uh, juniors. So we have a full schedule of activities, good place to come. Uh, some of the women or juniors that haven't played before, start out at the clinics, they're fantastic and they have some of the best teachers in the area assisting with that. Uh, we're entering our busy season and upcoming events, uh, we have the Bronco Booster Club, March 28th. Exxon Mobil has a 36 hole event for 120 people on the 29th and 30th of March. Uh, May 5th, uh, Gunner Thornton Memorial, that should be a good event. And then Phillips 66, that's about 240 golfers, that's on uh, May 12th. May 27th, the Bob Hardy Memorial. And uh, starting June 1st, the Rec uh, Junior League starts. So we have a lot of good activities planned and uh, should be an exciting year. Uh, we've, some of the plans we put in a month or a month and a half ago are really working out well for us. Uh, we're, our play is uh, holding real steady and our revenues are up about 25% so far on the programs and we're feeling really good about the direction that's headed. That's it, thank you. Hold on just a second, you may have some questions but before you go I wanna say this. We've, we've worked hard over these first couple of months to change some things at the golf course. Jerry's been uh, very instrumental in making sure that we, we got these done. I can tell you, we did have to raise the rates out there on some of the uh, folks that are outside the recreation district in the city. But he said it, and I think it's worth repeating. If you live inside the recreation district, which encompasses the city of Westlake, and you want to play golf, and even if you're starting out, they're gonna have some clinics coming up for the men, they're gonna have some stuff for the kids and for the women, but you get free range balls. Anytime you wanna go out there, if you live in Westlake or the Recreation District, you get to go hit free range balls. And the women play free, and the kids play free. And the men, from Monday through Thursday, can play twice a week for free. This is being subsidized by our Recreation Department. It shows a real mesh between the Recreation Department and the city, and that we are all Westlake, we are all one. It's good for our community to get people out doing things actively like this, golf, so it's, it's a great program. And uh, I know Jerry's working hard to make the golf course successful, the Mac successful. We wanna see all this come uh, and, and happen while he's uh, He's taking care of that. He's my captain out there, I would say, when it comes to the, the golf and the max. Any questions from any county on Mr. Brown? One activity, I was in the clubhouse this afternoon. On April the 5th, it's a Wednesday, they're gonna have a par three masters oh, that's little right. tournament. Uh, a good event. It's a, like a nine hole event in the afternoon, par three. What they do is, uh, the distance that they have at the Masters, the par three, say if it's a 200 yard par three, they'll have a 200 yard par three, kind of mimic what they do at the Masters as far as par three. It's a pretty fun little event if anybody gets the opportunity to go and play it. Good, any other questions? Any other count? Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> What's required to get free play? Okay, that's a good question. <clears throat> What's required to get free play? is uh, you, you need to go down to the recreation district and bring proof that you live in the recreation district or in the city. It'll be a driver's license and uh, some, I think yeah, two of the eight bills. bills. Yeah. Uh, and, and that way you'll be able to do that. So, uh, you know, there would be some people that would be disingenuous and try to play, or say they're in our district or not. So they are uh, pretty specific on making sure that you have this information. Thank you for bringing that up because that is important. With that being said, the next uh, report is from our Director of Finance, Mr. Milton. Um, each one of the City Council members, you have your monthly financial reports in front of you, starting with the, uh, the cash statements, and uh, I'd be glad to answer any questions now, or um, anytime you, you have them, just give me a call. But, um, you know, that's, any questions uh, by the Council, council to Mr. Milton? I need a motion to receive the reports. I have a motion.
motion by Mr. Brown, a second by Ms. Peterson. Any discussion on any report? Hearing none, that motion carries. I've got a motion by Mr. Brown. I need a second to adjourn. I have a motion by Mr. Brown, a second by Mr. Harrison. We stand, uh, Harrison, Mr. Harrison. We stand adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey,